hello students today we are going to learn for the subject material science and metallurgy which is for the third semester mechanical engineering so for the material science and metallurgy there are many chapters in the whole syllabus so if you have not done anything yet for the for this subject you can go through particular questions so it will be very easy for you to pass the examination so the first chapter is the introduction part which is contain of 5 percentage of the weightage so for this chapter these are the question which is given on your screen so from the those questions which is the red mark which are which is red mark questions are the important chapter important question for the particular subject so here give brief classification of engineering material and explain requirement of those material is important question because GTU is asking these types of questions again and again and remember we have not mentioned marks for the particular question here because whichever the topics we are giving to you that topic should be done thoroughly through the whole theory portion because they can ask one marker question three marker question four marker or seven mark theory for that question so remember do the whole theory portion perfectly because it will lead to give you a more number of marks so getting ahead for the second chapter crystal geometry and crystal imperfection which contains eight percentage of weightage in this chapter define and describe various fields of crystal geometry and crystal imperfection explain the crystal structure with nit sketch miller indices imperfection in crystal and effect in effects of that properties which are the important question for the chapter 2 chapter 3 is the plastic deformation which contains the weightage of 5 percentage see till here you have seen that chapters are containing 5 percentage 6 percentage again 5 percentage so gtu can ask any 7 mark theory from the particular chapter or they can ask a theory for the 3 or 4 mark for the part from the particular chapters so if you do not want to waste much time on these chapters then just go through these questions so it will helpful for you so for the time consumption you can go through this chapter so again come back for this chapter and the particular chapter plastic deformation can contain that dislocation and describe its types in brief which can be asked as per edge location and screw dislocation difference between the hot and cold working strain hardening and effect of it these are the important question also hot and cold working and strain hardening can ask again and again for the chapter 4 solidification of metals and alloy see here also they are containing 7 percentage of weightage so do not waste much time on this chapter just go through this question that explain effects of structure on mechanical properties write shortness on solidification defects and its remedies now chapter 5 phase and phase equilibrium this is the important chapter as per the syllabus criteria in this chapter using gibbs phase rule explain explain rule and explain phase diagram with the help of this sketch cooling curve draw the curve of pure metal binary alloy and binary eutectic alloy what is the phase diagram explain level rule explain substantial solid solution and explain hume rothery rules Hume Rothery rules is again important. What is the substantial solid solid solution? Why solubility is limited in interstitial solid solution and justify it. From here, Gibbs phase rule is asking again and again in GTU phase diagram and lever rule. These are the important question for the phase and phase equilibrium. You should do this chapter must one time because GTU will ask seven marks fixed question from this chapter. Now, chapter 6, allotropy of the iron, which contains 15% of weightage. Here I have mentioned that do the whole chapter once because GTU will ask two questions for, for the 7 marks or one question for the 7 marks or another question of 3 marks 
from this chapter so whole the chapter is the important part you should go through the whole chapter once it will be very helpful for you for as of now for the examination as well as in the future th there are many subjects which will contain of this type of chapter so you should go through this chapter for the one time at least but as of now if you want to go through some questions there are the question that what do you mean by allotropy of the iron and discuss in brief explain iron carbon equilibrium diagram with net sketch and mention different phases in iron carbon diagram different microstructures hypoeutectate and hypo hypo protected steels the resultant microstructures and hence cor correlated properties and application for the chapter 7 again this chapter heat treatment contains of 15 percentage of weighted so i have again mentioned that do the whole chapter once because there may be ask uh, they may ask 7 marks or 14 marks theory from this chapter so define critical cooling rate and explain continuous cooling transformation diagram with net sketch we write short note or may they will they will ask difference between any two annealing normalizing hardening and tempering on full hardening so they may ask difference between annealing and normalizing hardening and full hardening like this or they may ask a particular question on the basis of annealing normalizing hardening tempering and full hardening so you should go through all the theories uh, one time and uh, they may ask a particular definition for one mark or two mark next is what is carburizing and explain its types difference between carburizing and nitriding define flame hardening and its methods advantages and disadvantages so they can ask the whole question in the seven mark or they can ask just advantages and disadvantages of flame hardening or just define flame hardening and its methods so whole can be asked in seven marks but they are if they are going for a particular part they can ask in three marker or four marker questions again explain defects and its remedies in of heat treatment and next is what is quenching and which media can be used for the for the quenching in the heat treatment again the per particular portion quenching is very important for the particular subject as well as the gtu examination so you should go through the quenching part perfectly because there may be a question from the quenching uh, sure short question from the quenching part so again i am repeating this do the whole chapter that particular uh, uh, chapter this and chapter allotropy of iron and heat treatment do the whole chapter again and again because there will be two to four questions from this chapter which will contain 21 to 28 marks for the gtu exam so for the passing purpose these two chapters are very important and you can go through the phase and phase equilibrium diagram so again seven marks question from this chapter so you can pass easily by if you are going to examination by doing these three chapters perfectly again i am repeating phase and phase equilibrium allotropy of iron and heat treatment the next is alloy steel this contains of 5 percentage weightage in this chapter what are the purpose for alloying give defects of different alloying elements classification of alloy steel different properties of alloying element with its uses describe and compare os tempering and mal tempering again in this chapter descrip description of os tempering and mal tempering is important so you should go through these theories once not important as far as gtu concern because it contains of 5 percentage weightage but we cannot neglect any of the chapter from the syllabus so go through the chapter once again chapter 9 is cast iron in cast iron state composition specific properties and application of particular part gray cast iron white cast iron and malleable cast iron this is the very important part because they can ask the, they draw the microstructure of the particular uh, particular metal or particular alloy part or particular cast iron so you should go through all the things once then there is a difference between white cast iron and gray cast iron so i as i have mentioned that we have not mentioned mark uh, marks in the any of the chapter 
because if they are going for the gray cast iron white white cast iron and malleable cast iron you can go through the difference between all that microstructure of all particular properties of all composition of all the part specific properties and application so they can ask particular question for this or they can ask the combination of the particular parts so you can go through this part Again, chapter ten is non-ferrous uh, ferrous alloy, six percentage job weightage. In this, difference between brass and bronze is important. Again, chapter eleven is powder metallurgy. Again, this chapter is important. In the powder metallurgy, these are the question that what is powder metallurgy? Explain the process of it. May ask any of the process directly. So these are the questions for the powder metallurgy. And again, sintering is the important part. Again, chapter twelve is NDT of the material which contains ten percentage of weightage. So again, do this chapter whole because this chapter will help you a lot for the NDT material. So, what do you mean by NDT? Difference between destructive testing of NDT. So, uh, in short, you have to do all the processes once because they can ask any of the process for from the NDT part. Again. metallography chapter which is the last chapter and contains 4 percentage of weightage so in this chapter describe with the neat sketch and how would you carry jomini hardenability test on the steel draw the neat sketch of electron microscope list out different methods of specimen preparation and explain any one method difference between micro and macro examination so they can ask any of the question because this per chapter contains 4 percentage of weightage and if you have any doubt in the ndt part then i am again repeating that that you should go through the particular uh, testing and the methods for the particular ndt because they can ask a particular method for the seven marks so go through this chapter perfectly because this is very easy as per the gtu criteria so it will help you to get the seven marks uh, whole from this chapter so for if you are if you have done nothing till this date then you can do 1 5 6 7 3 9 and 12 chapters for the passing purpose so it will help you to pass the examination easily again if this video is helpful for you then please like share and subscribe this video and if you have any queries regarding the mechanical engineering you can contact us on the given whatsapp number thank you